Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This week's video is going to be a little bit different from the other videos. We've gone back and found a bunch of pictures of an event that happened back in 2011. And we're going to piece them together and share a story with you about our first year in business as aerial applicators. Then stay tuned for the end of the video and I'll come back on and explain some of the things that you saw in the video. Thanks for watching. Monday, July 11th, 2011 was to be our very first day in business as aerial applicators or crop dusters as most people know us. We had purchased a 1981 Air Tractor 301 airplane for the business and were very excited to get started and put her to work. We had talked with our retailer on Friday, July 8th and they had decided that we would start spraying fungicides on the following Monday. At about 4.45 a.m. on Monday the 11th, we were awakened by heavy winds and the sounds of a storm upon us. We woke up the kids and headed to the basement. This was no ordinary storm though. What it ended up being was a derecho. We had never heard of a derecho before, but we soon learned of the damage that they could create. When the winds finally calmed down, we came up out of the basement and looked outside. What we saw shocked us. We figured that it must have been a tornado by the destruction that was outside. My pickup and our daughter's car had trees on them. We had another car that was not damaged, but there was no way out of the neighborhood because all the streets were blocked by downed trees. After assessing the damage at the house, we called our pilot and his son, and they picked us up a couple blocks away from our house and we headed to the airport to see if the airplane was okay. When we got to where the airplane had been parked, the only thing left was part of a strap and the wheel chops. The airplane wasn't that far away, but the damage had already been done. This plane would not be flying. We hired a wrecker to come out and get the airplane back up on the ramp, but soon realized that that was not going to be big enough.
hired a company to come in and pull the wings off, load it on a trailer, and take it to Texas where it would be rebuilt. But we would not have it back until late September. All of the cornfields in the area had been flattened by the storm, and the advice the farmers were getting was to leave it set for a week, let the corn dry and stand up on its own, and then spray everything because the corn had been damaged. This gave us one week to find a rental airplane to get the crops ready. Hey guys, so this particular derecho that came through Iowa actually started in Colorado and ended in Maryland. It covered 1,300 miles, and when it came through our area, we had sustained winds of 130 to 135 mile an hour, which is equivalent to a Category 4 hurricane. So, hope you liked the video this week. I know it was a little bit different, but uh, hopefully it gives you a little insight into our first year in business. Uh, it wasn't quite how we planned it to go, but we made it through, we took care of our customers. So I think because of everything that happened, uh, I think we're probably a little bit more grateful of what we have, what we've accomplished, and uh, we know that God has blessed us tremendously, and we appreciate you guys watching. So if you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe and share with your friends. We'll see you next week. Oh, and Gracie was being so patient on the floor while we were videoing this. So she just wanted to hop up here and say hi to you guys since she didn't make an appearance in this video. And, uh, yeah. Say goodbye.